Good afternoon, Trey Campbell here. I uh, just wanted to uh, give you guys an update. Uh, just traded one stock today, uh, DWTI, uh, 205 in profit, but uh, but it definitely made me work for it. Uh, but uh, it was an interesting chart. Uh, it's 106 p.m. currently. I just got out shortly before recording this. Um, it originally popped up right here, uh, which got my attention. I started shorting uh, around in this area. Uh, once it uh, actually did not drop far enough for me to sell, uh, I actually went into like a loss prevention mode. Uh, after the next initial spike, which was right here, uh, once that happened, I started chipping away um, 100 shares at a time. Um, just kept building my position, and um, and then I, what I would do is I would just I kind of just started all over, basically, and pretended like the shares that I shorted down here didn't even exist. Started over, uh, would go for, you know, 100 shares for 10 cents, uh, 100 shares for 10 cents, and then basically build a overall position uh, by doing that of about 2,300 shares altogether. And, uh, and then right there on this pullback, I was able to dump all of them. For a nice profit, two hundred five dollars. Uh, it's a little stressful, you know. You always want to be in and out quick, and when one doesn't go as quite as you wanted, um, I knew this one was going to be kind of um, going into it just off the chart itself. If you go back, let's see if I can. It's a definitely a positive day. So we've had some. Um, you know, I mean, we've been running up all day, um, you know, with a little consolidation, uh, starting out, we gapped up and then tried to close the gap, couldn't, couldn't close the gap. Then we took off, broke those previous highs and, uh, and then just kept going from there. So I knew once it broke basically this level right here, you know, it would be a pretty good run. And that's about where my ticker got me in at, or started signal signaling me to get in. And uh, yeah, I just started building shorts in, and and knew that uh, I really wanted this right here. This right here was what I was looking for. Just those powerful bars to the upside, uh, kind of like right here, but the pullback just wasn't good enough. So I knew. And on the second push, we would have more of a of a pullback, just a measured pullback. Uh, just, a, you know, you can call it whatever you want, Fibonacci, uh, measured move, whatever. But uh, human nature moves in, in measurements, and, uh, you know, you need to believe that because you can draw Fibonacci on it or you can, you know, use your measuring tools of any sort of indicator that goes off of uh, data such as that and you'll see that human nature uh, revolves around those mathematical numbers um, so you know in that I just uh, just took advantage of it and uh, took uh, took some money off the table and uh, one stock you know about uh, 2,300 shares, $205. Um, was it uh, a home run today? No, it was not. $205 is uh, not going to buy a Lamborghini, but, you know, a lot of people work two days or a lot of people work all day to make $200. So, you know, made it in under an hour. So, I mean, it's... It's definitely got its perks. 
Um, but uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick update. I hope everybody's doing good. I've uh, still not been able to trade a whole lot, but uh, when I do see one that interests me and I'm at home, uh, I uh, jump on it. And uh, this one had me at home a little bit longer than I needed to be, but it was worth it. You guys have a good day. I hope I explained my reason for trading that well. Uh, if not, just comment, and uh, and I'll try to break it down some more. Uh, but uh, but small gains add up. You just got to remember that. Small gains, they uh, they don't look big at uh, when you're looking at them. You know, two hundred five dollars, but overall, you know, the course of the month or whatever. Uh, they really add up, so um, hope you guys are well. Trey Campbell, I'm signing off. Till next time, I'll see you.